folks, welcome back to Soccer Post. We're getting into that time of year where it's extremely hot outside. Kids still have tryouts, they got camps, they got other kinds of tournaments going on. So what we're going to talk about today is the kind of gear they should be wearing when they're in this hot weather, okay? You'll see a lot of the shirts that are coming out now have uh, cool dry or dry fit technologies and it's a, a very, very soft shirt, but what, what it does is it pulls the moisture and sweat away from the body, which allows us to cool down easier, okay? So not only do you do want to make sure that the kids are getting plenty to drink, but you also want to make sure they're in breathable material like this, and uh, we have tons of this stuff down here, but not only does it come in the shirts um, and the training tops, but it also comes in the shorts. So, um, you know, I would stay away from the all cotton type shorts, but uh, get over to more of the synthetic type stuff that'll draw the moisture out, okay? Another thing that's very important is I'm finding that a lot of guys are doing their um, endurance and cardiovascular training wearing uh, their flats. So they're wearing the indoor flats. Now, these shoes are made for a couple things in my opinion. Number one, it's for the carpet, indoor soccer for one. Number two, it would be for foot training in the backyard or on pavement, and I mean with the, the ball handling skills, and for casual, to wear them around, wear them to school, wear them to wherever. It is not for road work. You guys can't be running in these shoes uh, just because it's not designed for long distance athletic training. So Adidas, Nike, uh, we have New Balance down here now. Those are the shoes that you need for your cross training, your um, road work when you're doing your running and when you're at the gym. So come on down, if you're training in your flats, it's no good, it's gonna uh, flatten out the bottom of your feet, you're not gonna keep those arches like you like it, you're gonna start seeing plantar fasciitis and tight hamstrings and everything else. So get yourself a good pair of running shoes uh, for your uh, street work, all right? Any more questions, shoot me an email, soccerpostsc at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. See ya.